Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And of course, I'm here with my crew to discuss all the biggest entertainment stories and to talk about the lives of your favorite celebrity. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Luo Ritu and Benny Ak. I know you're waiting for me to read that. What's what happened? Hi, How are you? Sir. I'm all right. How are you? I'm good. Hi, Ewa. Hi, Benny. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right, moving on. Tupaba and Blackface have opted to settle out of court. Um, Tupaba reportedly dropped his 50 million naira defamation lawsuit against Blackface. Sources um, said that um, Blackface agreed to not publicly call out Two-Face while Two-Face agreed to work out an arrangement or an agreement that would enable Blackface and royalties. So, um, okay, so for this story, I don't even know how I feel because it's... It's weird if you, I know it's the sources that are talking now, right? Mm. It's, we've not seen any court documents to back whatever claim the bloggers are making, but if it is anything to go by, why are you just agreeing to work out the reality for mm. blackface? Does it mean he had a case all the while and you have been chopping his money? Let me put it that way so mm -hmm. we can understand ourselves. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Milestone achievement in this case, given the fact that blackface has always cried out foul. Mm. And so I'm sort of, I think it's, I don't know, like I think the whole of Nigerians have closure on this case right now. <laughs> I, gotta say, I gotta say so. Um, I'm happy at the end of the day that they could f um, resolve their differences amicably outside of court. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm still bothered a little bit. I hope this is the end of this case. The idea of settling out of court simply make us feel or know that actually blackface cry was not totally foul. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there are elements of truth that actually Two-Face probably took the song, like mm. he was claiming, because there wouldn't be an out of court settlement if, if there was no if, case right. really. So blackface all the way had a case, so I think Nigerian suit, for those who felt it was crying foul, my likes included, mm -hmm. I want to apologize to blackface. I mean, me too. Almost no, everybody apologizing yet until I see well, the court papers. Yeah, that's no, another, that's another thing. You know, because for the, for someone like Blackface, I don't think he's going to keep quiet. Mm -hmm. so if it's not true. Two-Face probably decided, you know what, let me, let me, play the, let me be the bigger man. And, and then everybody wins at the end of the day. You know, let me be the bigger man. So it's possible he did not have a case, but Two-Face just said, you know, let's just it. have it. Yeah, let me be a bigger man. Let's just let's stop this. Let's be, let's be brothers and let's go our separate ways mm -hmm. in peace. Um, Two-Face is... is He's, he's no longer a toddler, you know, and so for him, his peace of mind is everything to him right now. He's had, he's had the best of his career, and he's still, two he, faces somebody, if he drops a song today, he's still, everybody still vibe to it. Okay, yeah. So I want to think, I want to think the out of court settlement was definitely initiated by two face. Mm. And if it's something Blackface is not satisfied with, trust him, he talks. He's still going to come out to the public and say something. But I'm hoping we've heard the last of this case as it is. Mm. For me, I don't think, um, with this, I don't think um, Blackface never had the case. It's not about Two-Face being the big man. If you're talking about royalties, it's not like he's agreeing to just pay him some money. I mean, we're talking about royalties. That means he has done something that he deserves to earn money for. Yeah, you're if, agreeing that his creative his, work is yeah. part of your music. And if that's true, why did you ignore him all this while? I, I don't think that's fair enough. And... I mean, everybody thought Blackface was crazy. I salute his courage that he stood by his words and he followed his art till the last. I'm, I think I'm excited for them. They are two grown men, and I don't think we should be seeing their back and forth on social media the way it is. I hope, like you said, this will be the end of the case. Well, I don't mind seeing their back and forth as long as they entertain me. That's what I'm on social media <laughs> for, you know. But good luck to them. Moving mm -hmm. on to the next story. Whiskey threatens um, Sound City. He took to his Twitter page to tell them to fix up before he goes crazy on them and he has since deleted the tweet. However, Sound City Radio um, official Twitter handle replied Whiskey's tweet asking him what they had done wrong. Mm. Okay, so we don't know. It um, would have been more interesting if Whiskey had just told us what happened because now they just kept us in suspense since and nothing is happening. And now. it's so painful when you know there's a tea to be spilled. And, and then nobody's spilling it. It's so sad, you know, <laughs> at least for these days. Well. Again, it could just be. <laughs> It could just be another publicity stunt, made a publicity mm. stunt for Whiskey. For Whiskey, Whiskey mm. is known to put all of the public publicity stunt. Um, the tweet was too vague for, for any analysis to be made on it. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Sound City came out and responded, um, I'm trying to remember that their tweet now, Starboy 
waiting with do. Mm. You know what I mean? In his tweet, I didn't even use the F word on them. That they, they better, they better fix up before mm. he F. You know, he used it the F word. Crazy yeah, yeah. Go. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to imagine what could go. What could be the issue between an artist and and an organization like Sound City? You know, there was no ban on whiskey songs, whatever mm. that we're aware of. Um, there was no not to be broadcast a song by whiskey. It was something said. Is that um, going to be the normal Sound City sound, uh, award um, the, this the, year? Yeah, the SMV, Sound City yeah. Music mm -hmm. Video Awards. I think, I think there will be, yes. Well, so maybe there's a conversation around that. That's it. So that's what I'm saying. Probably something... Somebody some, some, spill this uh, tea, probably please. Maybe somebody has said something <laughs> from the camp of Sound City that got to Whiskey, whiskey. and mm. Whiskey in his usual manner wants to let them know, okay, hey, I'm not having it. You know, I'm not going <laughs> to have it, so you better act well. And so it could be in, in their worst category, thinking about it right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, I'll come maybe that's it. Maybe a win, <laughs> maybe a win is, a win of something is Next going to risk it. And, you know, and so, uh, you know, so if you, if you guys aren't going to give me this, or give the person that think deserves this, mm. then you better, you all better fix up right now before mm. I start messing you all up. But mm. the story huh. is very vague. Very vague. I mean, there's nothing to analyze, like you s rightly said. And for me, I would say, dear Whiskey, is it that you spill or you just stop stressing us? Right. It's time for a quick break. <laughs> Before we return, we have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Reality TV star Ariata Essay has revealed why she does not post much on Instagram. She said, and I quote, a lot of people have been asking me why I don't post um, often on Instagram. The reason is because I live more of my life in reality than on social media. A lot of people would deny this, but I think a large number of people compete with themselves and in the process, um, they find themselves living a life they earn, that eyes theirs for people who don't really care. Try to live for yourself and make you a better person outside social media. It really doesn't make sense knowing you're rich on social media and dead broke in reality. Social media is fun, but learn to live more in reality. You will have peace and zero pressure, end of quote. First, why are the people asking why you're not posting on social media? They have problem. No, she needs to tell us who these people are. Yeah, <laughs> who are the people? That's if they are. If they are. If there's no. anybody yeah. asking. Mm -hmm. mm. Benny. <laughs> <laughs> because, okay, so that question we're asking is born out of the fact that I went through an essay speech mm. and in a week she definitely posts once. At least. In a week once? Yes. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. I mean, in that's... In a week once. Some, That's some fair people post, people can post two, three every day. She no, I'm just saying. Yes. Who are the people that I mean, can post like every yeah. day? Mm -hmm. Tommy Bakri. But no, hold on. Hold up, please. If your I mean, business, yeah, you can make go on. Going. But I just want to. I don't need you to go on. I, I want. I can take Tommy Bakri. Mm. If your business is social media oriented. You cannot do without posting. How is business social media oriented? Oh, yeah. I mean, Toby's they, are, they are influencers. They are Toby's an influencer. Yeah. Hold on, don't Toby posts kids. Also, ladies, don't forget also, Arietta was in Big Brother House for mm -hmm. a while. Mm -hmm. oh, it doesn't mean their career really path and yeah. what they do yeah. can be and the she same owns, thing. She owns, she owns a salon. Mm -hmm. and so she, there's no reason why she shouldn't be posting every day. But what if she has a business page for her She has a business page. Yeah, actually. She does have a business page. And she has not unlocked that part of knowing that you can actually use your personal page I, to I push your brand. I just want to say one person in there. So, 
all these other people who just recently came out of um, Big Brother House and The Last House, they mm -hmm. post like every hour. Because that's yeah. the strategy to your business. And so I'm just yeah. saying, I'm just saying. I so understand where post... Ariata is coming from. Is yeah. it Ariata or Ariata? Ariata. Ariata? I understand where she's coming from. I get the point. It's it, it, Regardless of how often you post, even if you post every day, you cannot post more than once, one minute of your life on social media, right? Mm. So for the day, I mean. So even if I decide to put up a picture today, now how many seconds does it take me to take the picture and put it up? And I'm done, right? Mm. But then it's important for you to make your real, real life, life interesting mm. and not so dependent on social media to find your happiness and then get pressure from left and right. But about her not posting frequently, I, I don't know how much more frequent she wants to post. Except she's now she has now imbibed the culture of using the platform to push her business. But she's not doing that. So nobody expects her to post every time. This is it. I think she's talking about the pressure of social media, of being on social media. Mm -hmm. And for all we care, she could have a whole lot to be posting every day, but she's not about that life. Because and she doesn't want she to doesn't so want to. That means she doesn't have a I lot mean, to post. Which, yeah, if you ask something take, to post, you post it. I want to take the advice she gave to say, you know what I mean? You should be she concerned about your real life than mm -hmm. you are on social media. Many people can't even tell the difference any longer between their real life and mm -hmm. social media. Right. They're living for the glam. And for most of it, it's all fugazi. What the portray on the ground is not really what is happening. You have somebody posting so much about they have been here and been there, but in reality, they're dead broke. They're going through stuff, but they will never post that. And so I think we shouldn't get consummated by always wanting to put things out there on the ground, on the ground, but in real life, we're not leaving. So even when we're leaving, we're doing everything because we want to put it out there for people to see. Mm -hmm. So that is still you not leaving. So I want to take to that advice she gave that, you know what, it's good advice mm. um, for reason why she doesn't post so often or why people are asking her, I don't know. You know. <laughs> why did you laugh, babe? You know, so, <laughs> so, you know, so at the end of the day, there are a whole lot of people, I mean, it's all audio. We, we read about audio mm. stuff. I mean, people never, people never mm. post their failures. Right. People can never post their source of wealth. Mm. And I always say this, if you cannot tell me if I cannot validate your source of wealth and everything you display on Instagram, I can't, I can't compare myself to you. Right. So there's a whole lot of comparison and competition because of what's being posted on social media. Mm. People get pressured. You won't tell someone you feel the pressure. No, no, of course. You know? see, I'm not saying yeah. what she said does not make sense. I'm yeah. just saying, I mean, we're analyzing what she said. Yeah. So from the beginning, where she's saying, oh, People. I don't post a lot and all, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you post enough for a human being. She's actually very right? active. So she is active. And she gives us the good part of her life mm -hmm. also. Oh, I'm here, I'm there, and all that. If we want to start dissecting and say, OK, what exactly do you do to get to all this? Then we'll have another conversation. But. I agree with what she's saying. Don't let social media pressure you. Yeah. Mm. Do what you want to do and be happy. Put out what you want to put out. But if social, someone will say something, I think there was a way they put it, that if um, if you're not making money on social media, then you should probably spend less time on it. Yeah. But you cannot compare yourself because you, your business is off social media. It doesn't require you being active there to make money and interact with the people that are supposedly your fan that mm. would generate to brands wanting to work with you. You cannot compare yourself with them if mm. they have to be active. For Toke Makinwa, for example, she would take a picture or a particular clothes, and then she'll make like five posts on that same clothes. She might not post it every uh, five times a day, but she might post the same picture for five days. And because she's promoting something and she's tagging something, if that is your life and then you are in partnership with so many brands, imagine you have a clothes, your outlook, your hair is from somebody else, a clothes is from somebody else, and you have to promote all these brands. It's a partnership you have to respect and you have to work and push their brand so if that's not your business it underst it's understandable for you to take a back seat and say well, you know what i'm chilling offline but sometimes for some people i can say this because i understand it social media is work it's um, business for them i think i get what she, where she's coming from and she's not talking about i want to believe she's not talking about people that are posting for business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she's of talking course. about people that are living the fake life on mm -hmm. instagram exactly. basically mm -hmm. that's what exactly. she's saying the only part like if we're analyzing it the only problem here is that she used herself as an example and it sounded like she's not an active person on but instagram she but she is but aside that every other thing she said is the truth and i think everybody should pick to that um to pick that advice True. and live by it i think in, in closing to this topic if if it is Whatever it is you're posting on Instagram, mm -hmm. make sure that's the real life. That's the life yeah. you're actually living. Mm. You know? Okay. <laughs>
Moving on, media personality took a market while was at a nail store in London when she saw a quote on the wall. She definitely agreed with the quotes which prompted her to share. It simply says, be as picky with your men as you are with your selfies, end of quote. So if you do not agree, say I. Okay, sorry. I guess we all agree. <laughs> Then you agree. Oh, you, he says he doesn't agree. Why? So why? Um, I don't have a problem with people raising their standards and you should have your standards. You should know what it is you want in life. Mm. You know, the kind of person you want to spend the rest of your life with. And that comes from a place of self-discovery and self-awareness, setting boundaries, your values, your philosophies for living. You know, I'm very particular about people who give advice on certain issues. The most, the best, the best of financial advisors, they, they have a messed up financial life. Mm -hmm. And most times, we that give advice, we don't necessarily go by the advice we give other people. Have you realized that we're so good, if a friend comes to you right now and tells you she's having a problem with a man, you have the best of advice to give to her. But when that same situation hits you, you just, you're not sticking, you know, you can't find your advice, you've given somebody else elsewhere. You know, um, she's human, she walked into a store, she saw what she liked, good word, you know, and posted it. And I'm not one to judge anybody, you know, but I will not be, from my experiences, yes, from my experiences and my lessons, I can advise you. Mm. From what I've been through, I can advise you. Mm -hmm. But there's some situations I feel I've not been through, I don't understand, that I don't stand the ground, the premise to be able to give Benny, any advice. These quotes <laughs> that she shared, do you agree? Let's with talk the about the quotes. This is not about with, Toker's okay. life. Okay, oh, do I agree with the quote? Yes. I, I think it's, it's generic. It's not pretty specific. When mm -hmm. you say as your selfie, selfie, that means selfie, people, um, selfies are filter, you put a whole lot of filter and it comes out not being you. So I want to I want to agree. No, no, there's a process of picking before you start putting the selfie. Mm. So it is the picking process she's talking about. Yeah, be selective about the kind yeah. of people you align to your mm -hmm. life. That's fine. And so um, it's it's a great advice coming from from Toke and um, I'm very happy she's giving this advice. It's it's, it's a great oh, wow. it's a great one. I mean, I totally agree with that. You need to be very selective, not even about your man, anybody, even your friends. You need to be very careful who you let into your life. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, coming from Toke does, I don't have any problem about that. I mean, yeah, yeah, what if she's advised? What if she, she saw it and then she felt she has been through this and she needs to let people know? Oh, that. she has. Mm, yeah. So. Oh yeah, she has. You sound like she has. Did she pick you and it was wrong? <laughs> Sorry. Did she pick you and it was a wrong choice? No, but she, she was very vocal about our last relationship with Magic mm, that didn't turn out so well, well isn't uh, it? So. Like I said, so, I'm not but, going to focus on who yeah. put out the message, so from, and it wasn't even a message from her. She saw it and then she she, it, it resonated with her somehow, and mm. she decided to share. And like you said, I we like all that word, resonated with her. We <laughs> all have. We all should have standards, and yeah. if you have standard and you are sure of your standard, which you said you can only come when you have grown into understanding who you are, mm. then having standard requires that you must be picky. It's in your business, oh, in yeah. everything you do in life. So I totally agree with this. So it doesn't mean that you knowing this um, will make sure or is a hundred percent guarantee that you will not happen. make a mistake. You're right. We are human beings and our choices, in fact, it might not be the wrong choice at the time, but go three years down the line, four years, it, it now seems like, okay, I think this is the wrong choice mm. for now, right? So I think we should just pick what we can pick and live our lives. That's right. what I think. All right, moving on to the next story. Identity of R. Kelly's girlfriend who claimed to have aborted his baby is being challenged. So about two days ago, one of um, Kelly's girlfriends and most ardent defender in public, Joyce Lane Savage, was said to now claim to be Kelly's victim, accusing him of sexually and physically abusing her and forced her to have two abortions. However, new find findings reveal that the identity of person behind the now deleted social account is questionable. The page alleging to be that of Justine has been removed after multiple unsuccessful attempts to verify the identity of the account holder. Hmm. Okay, so this is a new twist. We didn't get the chance to talk about the acquisition when it happened, so mm. I think I'm happy I didn't get to talk about it right <laughs> now. But now it's um, questionable. Yeah. For some reason, I feel I'm, I don't believe she's the one. And I feel like it, Joyce Lane, that's her name, when she's very vocal and she's been doing it not behind closed doors. In she does of videos the camera, in front of she cameras, had an interview interviews. With yeah. She has done on YouTube and also if she has gotten to that point where she wants to 
Speak tell a truth. different truth because mm -hmm. everybody has their truth. If mm -hmm. you say this is your truth, I'm not the one to argue your truth with you, right? If she now has a different truth and she says that is what it is, I think she would come out to also say it. Now, using a platform that is for crowdfunding and people were actually dropping money mm. on that platform. So, so far, 1,800 users has uh, have donated and donation, I think, ranges between $8 and $25. $25. So you can mm. imagine how much that is. But the owners of the platform are saying they're holding the money until they can verify their they identity. And if they can't, they return it to the people. But so I'm thinking, did someone decide to create that username to make quick cash because from what they said i didn't even really when it dropped but it was a case of repeated allegations so the same thing that other people have been saying is the same thing that this person is coming out to say so why is there so much similarities in all this accusation i'm just saying so yeah that's how i feel mm, yeah i mean she she like i don't know i don't want to say she's not the one mm -hmm. because anything can happen people can be maybe she, because she's just scared that she has been supporting him all this while, and then mm. now she wants to talk. She doesn't know how people would take it that she's coming out to say this now. So she's probably hiding behind that account. We never can tell. But when it comes to people paying to that account, that's where I have problem, and I'm doubting she might not be the one. Mm. Because I don't think she really wants to speak her truth to get money at this point right What if now. she's broke and Kelly is in the... Is in jail. There's nobody right. giving her money. So yeah, I mean, that was that, that was also. one of um, Kelly's lawyers' defense mm -hmm. that we all know the situation now, and there is no money. Maybe that's why she's doing this now to make money off our Kelly. But this is a very sensitive and very tricky one mm -hmm. because somebody, some people are even saying that it's probably her parents that are trying to get money, money from. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is very tricky. Mm -hmm. Right, unfortunate, right? Um, Jocelyn has always been a pro R. Kelly prior mm -hmm. to this time. Mm -hmm. For those who have followed the story, I mean, she, she defended him with, with a blow with a lie that no, he, all those things are accusations. Then we need to think probable cause. What, what changed? What happened? Yeah, you can Coming go into some, and some level what? of realization mm -hmm. to say, um, you know, I, have a I think truth. I was used. I, I yeah, because she, she has speak. been. Um, I'm also a victim. But before now, you were defending... Which is why I said, I cannot argue anyone's you know, truth. Yeah. yeah. Your you truth were, yeah, is your you were truth. Defending, you were defending this guy. Then mm -hmm. all of a sudden, something snapped and, ah, I'm also a victim, and so I need to come speak my truth. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say categorically, I don't think she's the one behind that account. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's fraudulent. Like Riley said, she, she's always been vocal for the cameras, and so what would she be afraid of? On um, a platform that we don't... Okay, so that's it. The, I'm also yeah. thinking, you know, what if this is a publicity stunt for this platform? I mean, is what it? You know, <laughs> yes, because again. now we all know that there's a crowdfunding platform called mm. Patreon or Patreon. 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 I mean, Patreon. if that's the case, then this is working. Yeah, because mm. you know, a lot of people now know that there's a platform like that. But and I mean, again, that would, and it's that would be so unfair for, to it's use not just, Kelly on, it's for not publicity even, stunts right now. It's not even right a platform now. for something like this. It's a platform for creatives mm. that want to get money for That's their um, creative ideas their and all that. Yeah. So why would a Joyce Lane go on this platform to talk about sexual harassment and mm. not an Instagram? Not what's the popular um, crowdfunding platform that? GoFundMe. Go, not on GoFundMe, go right? Mm. I mean, I don't know. There's so it's many watches. Questionable. And... It's questionable. And as it's going right now, let me tell you what they're going to do to this Al Kelly's case. Many, many people have taken advantage of this case of surviving Al Kelly from different angles. Those mm -hmm. who want to make money out of it, those who, for political reasons, you know what I mean? What might end up happening to this case will become a media case mm. that after a while, there'll Ooh. be. There'll be no credible evidence again to pin our Kelly for what everybody's come out to say about him with mm. the way everything is going. So if they keep up this way, um, today somebody comes out and says something, tomorrow they come and say something differently. You're casting, a, you're, you're casting doubt and no, no enough evidences to finally, you know what, nip this guy. The case will just become one media case that never yeah, sees the end of the day. Yeah, and because of that, I think they should be careful because mm. I'm not even going to say I think he did not do what he did. I know there's an atom of truth, but if they want justice, they need to be careful about how they plead it. Because when it comes to the law and justice, it's about evidence and you being able to prove what he has I'm done. I'm talking about what um, the, per yeah, the person behind the account yeah. is putting out. The other girlfriend has come to identify that there are some things that was um, said in that... Um, story or that post that was put on that account that does not seem like Al Kelly or what Al Kelly can do. Mm. So now there's a problem 
what the person probably does not even know or does not have a close, close relationship with R. Kelly. So the person is missing some things out. I'm thinking of this case. R. Kelly's lawyer, they have a good standing on this case. If mm -hmm. you're to pursue this, mm. this case will not hold in court. It, it could be dismissed, you know. So until Justin comes out to say something, because the account has been deleted all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. So why yeah, would it, it's, 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 yeah. And yeah, my problem yeah. is why she, I mean, she, like you said, she's very, um, she's not camera shy. She can speak to the camera anytime. If she's not the one behind this account, why is she not saying anything? Well, let's hope that she says something soon. Mm -hmm. And if not, then we'll see how this plays out because we're still surviving our Kelly. Mm. <laughs> anyway, that's our wrap of this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always goes to Michael Wankos, Ewa Oluwa Ritu, and Benny Yak, and of course the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and stay great. Thank you.